Hi, this is just a quick session to explain what is new on the new version of the EX dashboards using Grafana 7.2. So I will give a quick overview on some new features and some changes we have in the dashboard creation. So now when we create a new dashboard, the process is pretty much similar to what we have been doing in the previous version. But now when we add a new panel, there are some changes that I'm going to comment briefly because some of the settings have moved to the right and there are some more powerful features that we can leverage. So here in the bottom, we still have the query tab that is going to enable us to select from where do we want to pull data. So we have our classical data sources and a new one called time shift queries that I would ex explain lately. But when we select metrics, we can put here the regular expression to filter the metrics that we want to show. And this query tab is pretty much the same that in the previous, previous version. We can switch between advanced query builder, etc., and specify what do we want to show, like source and metric, etc. No big changes here. We have now, however, a transfer tab that contains a lot of interesting and powerful features. Keep in mind that now we have handy links to access to the documentation quickly from the transport tab, but also from the query tab. We have a pop-up that will explain the different data sources. So back to the transport tab, we can now apply different calculations to the metrics or the data that we're going to show. So we have many options here. And just to show something that is very interesting, we have now the option to run calculations from the fields we are displaying. So when I select that, I can choose the mode like binary operation or reduce row. When I choose binary operation, it's going to enable me to do a basic arithmetic operation between two fields and just give it another name. So now it's going to create another time series call operation that is just the result of this calculation. In the same way, we can choose a different kind of mode like reduce row. And this is again very powerful. We can now choose what, can, what kind of calculation we want to do with all these fields, like the total, maximum, minimum, mean average, etc. So it's very, very powerful. And now we can show an overlay, the maximum, the minimum, the average into our panels. So if I put here the mean, as you see, there is a metric here uh, as time series here called mean. That is the, the average of all the time series. So again, very handy to run calculations on the fly on the data that we are showing in this panel. So these two tabs are going to define and transform the data to be displayed in the panel. Now moving to the right, we have three fields here, panel, field, and overrides. So the first one panel is going to manage all related to the visualization style we have chosen, like access, legends, thresholds, time regions, etc. So we can still create thresholds as we know, like this has not changed, pretty easy. And now we can do also something very interesting, like at, at a time region, for example, I can choose like every Monday, it's going to have a red color, right? So I need to change this to the last seven days. And you see, you can just put that section, for example, to mark weekends or a specific time range in this panel. You can also add panel links, etc. So all this relates to the panel we have chosen to, to display the data. Field tab is much more simple. It just changes the series name and add data links, right? So if I put this, everything is going to change to test. This is very generic when we are just displaying one data. However, the override tab is much more powerful. We can 
choose which time series I want to, to change, and it's very powerful. We can use regular expression, series name, for example. I can say any field matching this. I'm going to add an override and select the, the property. I want I can change the display name to call it test, right? And it's going to change that specific series to be called like that. I can also change the unit or just specify a data link for that specific time series. So remember, all the data processing is moved down here below the panel. And here to the right, we have all the different options to change the visualization settings. As usual, we have a what's new, where we have a bunch of panels and variables that we can leverage, copy paste for our panels, right? And here I just wanted to mention quickly on the time shift queries. That is a new data source that is gonna enable us to compare data from today to six days ago. And we can drive that using variables. For example, here we have different values to drive the time shift. How does it work? We can just come to the panel. As you see, we are selecting AIOps time shift queries, right? And now I specify the query that I want to choose and then the time shift that which can be driven by a variable. Then it's gonna show the data, current data six, day, six hours ago and 12 hours ago. Again, we have full details here in this pop-up window that explain how to use it and what is the main use case for this data source. So feel free to take a look at this what's new dashboard that contains a bunch of information on the new features and the new panels. And now we have also included descriptions for every new feature here on the right column. Thank you.